to my channel. So today, as you already know, I'm going to be making or recreating one of my most popular videos. It was the Easter um, baskets made out of crochet thread. I know a lot of people were wondering um, what type of string. They had a lot of questions in the comments. It was crochet thread. I know people thought it was yarn. Um, but yeah, this is the type of string that you're going to need. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a close-up of all the products that I purchased that I'm going to be using in this video and I hope you guys really do enjoy it. If you have any questions, um, definitely let me know in the comments below. If you haven't seen the original video, I'll link it below if you guys want to see that one. That one's actually really good and detailed as well. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to need. So instead of this time, I grabbed this aerosol can of the starch. So there's that. I'm also going to do with the other one. I'm going to try Mod Podge because I saw somebody do that so I was like maybe I'll try that and of course you're going to need your two balloons uh, I grabbed these from Michaels this I believe was at Walmart these were also at the Michaels craft store I grabbed some glitter to kind of like sprinkle over after I spray or Mod Podge uh, some ribbon so this is going to be part of the decorative piece the ribbon and the little pom poms a glue gun so you can glue on the pom-poms some glue sticks of course and the crochet thread okay so first step you're gonna blow up your balloon and it's gonna be to the size that you want your basket to be so I think I want it to be a little bit bigger I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna break this balloon with my nails hopefully not check out my nails Easter nails what do you think? So you're going to tie it up and then we're going to open up our crochet thread. We're not going to tape or anything. We're just going to grab the thread or crochet thread. Open it up. Find the loose thread. So there's the loose thread right here. How am I gonna get out of there? <laughs> okay, got it. Had to like kind of wiggle through there. So let me move the camera down so that you guys can see more like lower me kind of doing that thing. You're just gonna grab that string, hold it in place with your hand, and you're just gonna keep wrapping. You're gonna do it pretty fast. I mean, you'll get the hang of it. I have to move my balloon. It keeps getting caught on this little dangly part. And you're gonna keep moving your balloon around. Oh my goodness, I'm struggling, guys. I'm struggling. <laughs> Okay, let me kind of remove some of this stuff. I moved this piece to this side because when I was wrapping, it kept getting caught. So kind of have this away from your uh, dominant hand at first in the beginning to get it started. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do start slowly. Holding it in place, the string not held together by anything. I guess you could take it, but I don't know if you would really want to for the finished product. I'm trying to wrap it pretty tight too. I'm just going to keep going straight. For now, just start off with Starting to angle it now. of resistance it's rolling around on the floor start turning your balloon when you feel comfortable keep wrapping see mine is like squiggly right here that part um, and we're gonna cover that up so you don't have to worry about it not looking straight 
or that can even be part of the part where you cut it out because we're going to cut a hole in the middle anyway and how fun and yes we're going to use the entire roll of the crochet thread i'm pulling the string pretty tight and then i'm bringing it under my knee so when it hits the knee it's kind of like my knee is kind of holding parts of that string in place so this is how it looks so far remember go at your own pace don't rush because in the beginning i was rushing and i had to keep restarting it and restarting it the thread is all gone when you get to the end you're actually going to tuck in your thread find another piece of string right here whichever you're just gonna tuck it under there Didn't get it. I'm gonna pull it through. I'm just gonna lay it flat, or you could do it again. All right, and then it's secured under there. You don't even know where it was. The balloon is all basically done you want to immediately seal it i'm gonna try mod podge with this one to see how that works but i would just recommend normally because i haven't tried the mod podge but we'll see at the end of the video if it did end up working out um so i would just say do the starch this is basically what people use for um ironing so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a paintbrush and I'm going to paint. I have this little thingy thing. I don't know what this was from. I think it was from Sam's Club. So that way I don't get any of the glue anywhere. I'm gonna do it here and I'm actually gonna go on the floor and do this. So I'm gonna move you guys to that angle. I'm gonna grab my paintbrush and we're gonna start. Also another reason why I said you don't wanna wait, you wanna do this immediately is because in my previous video, if you wait too long, the balloon will deflate and the um, thread will not have that shape of the egg. So you want to do it as quickly as possible. Since it's still cold outside, there's a possibility that it might deflate, but hopefully not. Fingers crossed. We're going to work fast here. Let's get started. I got the Mod Podge, the matte. I really wanted the satin finish one. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint it. This is crazy. I feel like this is like a bad idea. I literally feel like I'm ruining this. And um, I really do hope it turns out beautiful because then I can go back and be like, I was worried for, any for anything, for nothing. So I'm gonna be leaving this here to dry. You guys have no idea how bad I wanna like just spray it with the starch because it just looks so like inconsistent um i ran out of the mod podge i grabbed just a small one of it i just hope it spreads down like look at these areas where it just looks like it's missing and over here it has too much um but we're gonna leave her like that hope that it works and work on the next one so for this one i might actually attach it to the hanger and i'm going to it was bouncing i'm gonna spray it okay so i hung it on my slipper duster i got the liquid starch okay so next what i wanted to do is add this fine glitter while it's still wet like look how pretty this is this one is still wet the um what is this called mod podge one okay so that is how they look with the glitter on it like i think they look so good with the glitter um so i'm just gonna leave these here overnight to dry and then i will update you guys the next day and We'll go ahead and start decorating them. So it's the next day and I was checking out the balloons. 
So this one is still soft. I'm gonna have to spray it again with the rest of the liquid or the starch. And then the Mod Podge one, I'm so surprised it hardened. It was actually stuck to the side there, but I was able to like move it. And I did end up putting this right here, like some, it was like some packaging stuff. I put it underneath because I didn't want it to stick to the box. There was a lot of Mod Podge underneath, so it was like glue. I have the, um, other balloon here this was the one that i made with the mod podge and i thought it was dry oh my goodness but the bottom is still a little bit wet i am so sad right now because i was planning on cutting it um and kind of filling it popping the balloon on the inside i might have to wait but it's it came out super nice so in my opinion uh so far instead of having to spray some stuff outside i would much rather like indoors just pour the mod podge over the balloon because it's like very very similar it's it's nice very nice texture the way it should be like can you guys hear that <laughs> so it's pretty good we're gonna start with this one. First thing we have to do is pop the balloon on the inside i'm kind of nervous to do that to be honest one two three Oh no, the glitter is falling off of it. Maybe you shouldn't do it on the couch. Woo! So I popped the balloon. She's ready, she's in there. So to get the balloon out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna like cut a hole um, where we want the decor to be. Okay, so I grabbed my little box so that I don't make a mess. So you're gonna go ahead, take your scissors and you're gonna cut nice little oval or circle whatever you want to do can they cut it <laughs> that looks so cool so it's a little bit harder to cut than it was with the starch I feel like that oval looks so bad. You're gonna go ahead and pull out that balloon, rip it out, and it, you just have the cutest little basket. Look how cute she is. Next, grab our little ribbon. I think I wanna make a bow out of this ribbon. So next, what I want to do is I want to make a little bow to put at the bottom. So there's my little bow that I made with the ribbon. I'm just going to glue it onto the bottom here. And there's your little Easter egg. And then I have this little piece here so that you can just prop it up just because it's round. It's not going to stand up on its own. So you want to have something to prop it up on. So I decided I wanted to show you guys how to make the bow out of the ribbon. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your ribbon, you're going to take a shorter side, you're going to make a small little loop here. And then with your longer side, you're going to loop it around once and then a second time. And when you do it the second time, you're gonna make another little loop under here, and you're just gonna tuck it underneath that first loop that you did. Hold on. So this right here is the first loop that we did. So we're gonna tuck it under there and pull it. I don't like that it's tangling like that. You're just gonna pull everything tight and then you'll be able to like pull it back out a little bit. To adjust it to your liking. But I literally just taught myself how to make this bow. I was like, hmm, I want to make a little bow. I just don't know how to. So I, I was like messing with the ribbon a little bit. 
until I finally got like a cute little bow. So this is the one I'm gonna use for the white one. I just had this ribbon sitting around. It was from like Valentine's Day, like a little gift I had. There was like ribbon on it. I was like, okay, let me try to use this. It's finally dry, but look how it looks. Like there's lumps, it got stuck at the bottom. It's not so pretty, but we're gonna still make her look beautiful. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm gonna make this the back side. <laughs> this one's actually really, really hard to cut. You see how it's like still moving? I actually did end up finding a different ribbon, so I am gonna use some ribbon. And look at it, it has like a cute little daisy pattern on it, really pretty. Oh, that's adorable. Look how cute that is. I love it. So next, I'm going to be using the pom-poms. How cute. I wanna put them in order, like what colors I wanna use. I don't know how I'm gonna put them. Let me look first, try to figure it out. Like in between the flowers. The pink one in the middle. I kind of spaced it out a little bit in between every two flowers. Cute. Look at her, how adorable. And I first I was only gonna do like the pink, but I actually want to do all the colors. I think they'll all look really beautiful in there. Try to mix it up and put them all in there. So I have a cute little pink peep I'm gonna put in there and a Reese's Pieces. No eggs because this is literally the egg. This is the egg and you can throw everything in that egg. And then let me show you the lavender one. I'll show you them both close. This one's a little bit taller but adorable. I forgot. I'm actually not done. I didn't put the little bow on there. And that's the finished product. How adorable. And if you guys do end up making these, you can tag me on my Instagram. I would love to see them. Mm -hmm.